Hey y'all, my name is Casey Maya. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. But basically this video is going to be my attempt at installing a wig for the first time. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have installed wigs before on myself, but it has been like reinstalled. So you know how like you get your hair done for your birthday and then like in like a couple of days it starts lifting. So you just take it off and put it back on. Yeah, that's what I've done. So I've never like fully bleached a wig, fully plucked a wig, fully installed a wig from scratch, like straight out the package. So that's what we're going to attempt to do in this video. I'm actually very nervous because I don't want to mess up the wig. So I just really hope this turns out good, y'all. I really do, like really. But this is the said wig. I bleached it and I plucked it. I don't know if you can tell, y'all, because I didn't want to like pluck too much of it without like seeing how it looks on my head first you know but in order to do that i have to take out these braids obviously which i will be doing tonight but yeah this is the wig i don't remember how much inches inches it is so yeah this is the wig that we're gonna attempt to install and i'm so nervous like on a scale from one to ten how nervous i am 50 but i feel like i got it because i've been watching like a lot of tutorials a lot of tiktoks so i really have faith in myself like honestly but i had went to the beauty supply store yesterday just to pick up a couple of things but i got um a curling iron because i don't have one and i want to learn how to curl hair this is 25 dollars. it's nothing special it's just a one inch curling iron and then i got a bunch of wig caps because I'm not like the best at the bald cap method, so I wanna have like a variety to work with just in case I mess up. And then I bought the Eben Wonder Lace Bond Spray thingy, melting spray. And then I have bought a wig band, elastic band. And I got an eyebrow razor, a fresh one to cut the lace. I am going to take out these braids, wash my hair, braid down my hair. So I will see you guys later, and I'm actually so nervous. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it, but I'm nervous. Okay, y'all, so we have my bald cap on. Don't mind it, it's definitely dirty or whatever. I don't even know what this is, but got to be spraying. I'm scared, y'all. Y'all, it's definitely the next day, by the way. It's like 1 a.m., one, not 1 a.m., 1 p.m. right now. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I thought I was going to be super woman and take out my braids, wash my hair, blow dry my hair, braid down my hair, and install the wig all in one night. I don't know what I thought I was yesterday, but it definitely didn't give that. So we're, we're up and kicking today. So I didn't put any like here because every time I do that, it ends up lifting anyways when I like did my reinstalls. So I'm going to use some of this gel to put it on my ear tab. This is just got to be gel. Okay. And then I'm going to get my blow dryer. Don't act while there's tape here, okay? But I think I'm supposed to do it on like cool. Hi. So I'm going to try to cut the um wig cap off now. Is it even, y'all? I think it's yo did i eat or what like i think it's giving bold like i'm bold really though but i just don't know i like this side is lower though is it giving too low or is that just my head <laughs> period okay so i'm using the ruby kisses cream foundation this is um 14 if you're wondering and i'm just gonna use a mix of both of the shades one is darker one is lighter i don't know if you can tell but yeah, I'm just going to use like a mix of both because I feel like that would be like a, a good thing. And I'm going to just put it all over the, the cap. Without my glasses, I cannot differentiate my forehead and the wig cap for real. Like, that's how you know it's giving bold. Okay, y'all, I think I ate. Like, I really think the bold cap is bold capping though. Really, like, be honest with me. If y'all do wigs, how did I do on my bold cap? Honestly, I feel like the thinner the cap, the better. So I bought like HD wig caps from the beauty supply store and it really gives like HD, like, hello? <laughs> I wanna see how it looks on, if I need to pluck it more or like if it even fits my head. Is this how it's supposed to be on my head? What do y'all think? Y'all think I need to pluck it more? I don't know. I feel like cause it's not flat on my head that I can't tell. So I'm just gonna use this hot comb. 
this hot comb is old too so don't look at none of my tools okay that's how you know it works though this was my mom's hot comb from like years and years ago so it's like the og hot comb i really cannot tell y'all like i really cannot tell <sighs> i'm so stressed i'm gonna uh, just put some of this black stick just like a little bit if i could get it flat Because I don't want to over pluck it, but it's like, how do I know if it's, if I'm like, if it's over plucked or if it's not plucked enough. So this is an update. Basically the wig cap I had on previously, when I, I don't know how, but it ripped. I don't know. It ripped like in the front. So I just decided to in, put a new one on. And this one, I don't know. Does it look, I feel like the other one looked better because this wig cap is not as thin as the other one, but I feel like this still looks all right. Like it doesn't look that bad, but I'm just basically putting makeup on it right now and that kind of bothered me that it ripped the wig she's cute i don't think i need to pluck her anymore honestly all right and then i like tightened it at the back with the little strappy things so it could be tight on my head obviously and then I cut off the lace in the back, and then I tried to cut off my ear tabs. I think I did a very bad job. Okay, right, honestly, I think I need to cut like this. And I have like a little smaller brush that I'm gonna put, like that has some makeup on it. So I'm gonna just fill it in. I think it's good in like positioning. So some rubbing alcohol in a paper towel. And then just clean off my forehead from like any makeup that may have got on it. Dang, it's like a lot of makeup. Girl, what would you? I'm very heavy handed. Period. Okay. Now I'm just scared about the gluing um on of this wig. So basically, I know people like do it in sections, but then I see most people just like glue it on in one shot. So should I try to just glue it on in one shot, y'all? So I'm just gonna pluck it some more, basically. But you know what, I'm gonna stop stalling, honestly, and get to the gluing portion. Because if I just keep this up, then I'm never gonna glue it down. So I'm gonna just get to it. Bold Hold, this is Bold Hold Active. And last time I went like that with the glue, it busted all over my face. Okay, I feel like this is the moment of truth now. Okay, y'all, I think I did it. So I'm gonna put this band on. I'm gonna put like a lot of the wax stick because it'll be oily. And I don't want it to be oily. So we're gonna hot comb it down. Ooh. Ooh, that was my ear. That was definitely my ear. But <gasps> why is the glue white? It's like white, but I feel like I can fix it, y'all. I feel like I can fix it. I'm gonna use this. Just make sure it's a dry and then I'm going to put this back on it. Hopefully that fixes the whiteness. If it doesn't, hopefully when I do my edges, it will do it. I don't know, but it's something I to give y'all. But I'm going to leave this on for way longer than I did the first time. And hopefully when I come back, it's fixed. Like, I don't know. But it actually does not look bad. It's been about, um, I want to say 20 something minutes or like 30 minutes. Since I last put this band on. Okay. So I am back.
it's like how many of them yo i'm sorry my window's open i live in new york i'm not sure what to say but um i'm gonna tie i'm gonna put these back put these clips in so my hair can be back okay we're gonna take this off Ooh. okay tell me where the lace is at though where is it because uh, i don't see it but i'm gonna put some makeup on it because it, look, it looks a little ashy so i'm gonna just put a little bit because i don't want it to like cake up i'm telling y'all if i know what i'm doing all right period that's good enough so now we're gonna try to do try to do my edges which i'm scared about but i'm gonna Y'all, this is so, like, I don't know what happened to it. But we're going to turn this on. I have no clue what happened to it. I feel like this is good. And I turned this on, so we're going to press it. Yeah, I think this is good. So I'm going to twist it. So I'm going to cut them now. My battery died again, but basically, this is it. And I'm gonna, um, I like my baby hairs dramatic. If you see my real edges, you know I like my baby hairs dramatic. So I'm gonna pluck this stuff. So now I'm gonna cut them like smaller because these are obviously too long. Now we go straighten it. I'm gonna use the got to be gel and I'm a little bit nervous y'all I'm not gonna lie because um I don't know wig edges are kind of hard for me to do okay I think that's cute now we gotta try to get the other side like yeah which is the hard part and then it's like I don't there's hair everywhere and it's so annoying okay though but I need to do another melt Okay, so I heard it's um normal to do like a third melt, so we're just gonna do this third melt, and I will be back once it's melted. I'm not gonna keep it on for that long though. Probably after I finish cleaning up all of this hair that I've been cutting, that I'll come back, and we'll get it crumped. But that band is something critical, cause it hurts like. But that's how you gotta get it to be to be like you know. But let me put my glasses on so that I can um, flatten this hair because it's not giving flat. It's not giving middle part bust down. We gotta wait for it to heat up. I literally plugged it in before this. But I did such a nice job in my opinion, y'all. Like, seriously. I, I ate, like, honestly. Like y'all, be honest, didn't I do a cute job? But, but I'm thinking if I'm gonna cut the ends to make them like straight. Y'all, I, y'all, okay, I ate. That's all I'm gonna say to y'all is that I ate for my first time putting on a wig from start to finish, like bleaching, plucking, all of that. I ate, even though it took me approximately four hours. I did the biggest one I could have did, like, y'all. And then it's only going to get better with practice. Like, in my opinion, this is such a good job. Like, who want to book me now? Hmm? Now I'm playing. I'm doing too much. But honestly, I feel so cute. And I ate, like, I really did. And I'm so happy I didn't mess up this way because I really thought I was going to mess it up. And then I would have been crying. But, y'all, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. And then this hair is like also really soft and silky too. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cute. And I'm such a cutie. Oh, like, yeah. 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 <sighs>
<laughs> maybe okay y'all think i should like put makeup down the part so i'm gonna put some makeup on my part Yo, I know my part is not straight, but I'm I'm sorry. It's not going to get any straighter than how it is. Okay, now we're going to call my mom. And we're going to ask her what she thinks of my, um, hair. Not hair. Hair. Sorry, y'all. Oh, why is she not answering? Oh, so you like it? Yeah, but it's too long. What's too long? My edges? The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. So I did good, 1 to 10. How did I do? Y'all, she gave me a 9.5. Okay, y'all, you heard it from my mother. She gave me a 9.5. And, and she would tell me the truth. Like, she would really tell me the truth. But y'all, I did, I did good, period. She just doesn't like my edges. She never likes the dramatic edges at all. But I like them. And I think I look cute. Like... Oh, 